Maybe the beauty of tattooing is, I make dreams come true. Um, and I know you all think, who does he think he is? And blah, blah, blah. But I do, every day I get to make people's dreams come true. I make people look better, I make them look pretty. I went through school doing art, graphic design, um, technical drawing, went traveling. And while I was traveling, was just kind of slowly getting obsessed with anything to do with tattoos or tattooed people. Came back to Britain, wanted to open a studio, ended up in Chester. Tattoo was just about the sort of early 90s, hitting a huge revolution, and I kind of got in right at the right time. Uh, I'd always been getting tattooed, so probably for five, six, seven years beforehand, I, I was getting heavily tattooed by a friend of mine, Steve, Steve Pott, who was the main reason that I started to understand what tattooing could be. And I kind of hooked up with Steve and realised what you could do. Um, and that was it then, the spark was on. And I was chasing it then. It started with a tiger's head, top of my arm, left side, uh, which I thought at the time was cool. But there was always that bit more. Once I knew I could have virtually anything I wanted, that was it. The ball was rolling, it was just an obsession. It was born big time, and that's where it started. I get to connect with, with just the most diverse range of people you could ever imagine. And I get to take bits from people, and, and ideas from people, and attitudes from people. And all in all, I don't really have a job, I just have a lifestyle, really. Um, I think in the last decade, there's, there's been a huge wave of what we, what we kind of call fashion work now, where maybe people that wouldn't have got tattooed before start to get tattooed. Uh, and so you're tattooing a much more diverse group of people. I'll be honest, there's a whole load of people getting tattooed that I really don't think should be or would have been. If there wasn't famous people getting tattooed. My industry in the last 10 years has done two things. It's, it's gone through the roof in standards and it's gone horrendously downhill in other ways and it's all due to basically fashion work. When I say fashion work, what I'm, what I'm really trying to talk about is um, types of tattoos that people are having maybe just because their friends are or they see stuff in magazines. And I think this kind of work, um, sort of small tribal pieces, the, the reality is this tattoo was probably got because a friend got something similar. And the truth comes out in the end because eventually she realises it's not really her, it's not what she should have had. And it's been had for the wrong reason, it's been had because of fashion. This is what she should have had. This is what we do. This is a tattoo now that not only covers the mistakes, but it's been structured to last as well. So we've got bold line work, strong colour, good definition between areas using black and grey against colour, different types, types of line work to define areas. This tattoo will now last forever. I thought the most I could hope for was, was good ink, but it has gone beyond what I would ever have ever imagined with the friends that I've made. Uh, the tattoo artist Mark, he's just, he's just been absolutely brilliant. What a joy to be with, there'll always be ink.